Tis not so, but tis since the nuptials of Lucentio come Pentecost as quickly as it will, some five and twenty years, and then we pass. Tis more, tis more. His son is elder, sir. His son is thirty. Will you tell me that? His son was but a ward two years ago. What lady's that which doth enrich the hand of yonder knight? I know not, sir. Oh, she doth teach the torches to burn bright. It seems she hangs upon the cheek of night as a rich jewel in an Ethiop's ear. Beauty too rich for use to, for earth too dear. So shows a snowy dove trooping with crows as yonder lady over here. Her fellows shows the measure is done. I, I'll watch her place of stand and touch ears make blessed my rude hand. Did my heart love till now for, for where it sight for me ne'er saw true beauty till this night. This, by his voice, should be a monte. Fetch me a rapier, boy. What does, what dares the slave? Come hither, come here with an antic face, to fear and scorn at our solemnity. <laughs> to fear and scorn at our solemnity. I just said that, right. Now, by the stock in honor of my kin, to strike him dead, I told him it's not a sin. Why, how now, kinsman? Wherefore storm you so? Uncle! This is Monte, our foe. A villain, that is, hither come in spite, a, to scorn at our solemnity this night. Young Romeo, is it? Tis he, that villain Romeo. Content thee, gentle cuz, let him alone. He bears him like a portly gentleman, and to say truth, Rowan brags of him. To be a virtuous and well governed youth, I would not for the wealth of all the town here in my house do him disparagement. Therefore be patient, take no note of him. It is my will the which if thou respect. Show a fair presence and put off these frowns, an ill-beseeming semblance for our feast. 